Good morning everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Peru. This is actually the end of it, this is the last day here. We're about to jump on another bus and head to our next South American country. We're actually heading to Bolivia. Hope you enjoyed the series. We have honestly enjoyed ourselves so much here. There's so much to see and if South America is anything like Peru, we're gonna have an awesome two months here. Guys, welcome to the Peruvian and Bolivian border. We just have to walk across at the moment and I think they must be building a new road because it's uh, quite run down here. See you later, Peru. The concept of no man's land always fascinates me how just no one owns any of this between that red sign and that blue sign. Woohoo! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Welcome to Bolivia, everyone. We made it all through, no problems at all. I feel like every time we cross the border, the two countries just don't care about that space because it just looks like a dystopian post apocalyptic world. Like, look at this, this is what we have to walk through to get to the bus. And welcome to Bolivia! We are currently in La Paz. It has taken quite a time to get here. We've just come to our room, which is huge. Steve, you need to push them together. Um, they never give us a double bed, but first peak of Bolivia. It looks... Like a city. <laughs> like a very, very big city. And the traffic here was nuts. It's insane. <laughs> but this is the start of our Bolivian adventure. We're here for two days, it's quite late, so we might show you guys around tomorrow, which is an exciting day. Which tomorrow. is your birthday! <laughs> it is a couple of hours later, and we're about to go to our last dinner on Gecko's trips. What happens is when you're in a country, you actually have a guide from that country. Now we're in Bolivia, we are about to say goodbye to our Peruvian guide, and he was amazing. Shout out to Renny. We're gonna miss you. You have been one of the best guides we've ever had. And tomorrow we will meet our Bolivian guide, who will be with us for our Bolivian part of the trip, which is super exciting. And also, because it's the end of our Peruvian time, there's actually a couple of people that are on the tour that aren't following on in Bolivia, so we have to say goodbye to them as well. So I think it's gonna be a sad night, because we've actually become really close our group, don't you think? Mm -hmm. It's like only 12 of us there's only going to be seven people in Bolivia that's even like a smaller knit of people but um it has been such an amazing trip so far about to go to for dinner are you ready soon to be birthday boy let's go well technically my birthday in Australia I know are you checking your messages, yeah, checking my messages yeah. <laughs> let's go last night cheers everyone to Peru oh, wait, <laughs> Oh, is that your daiquiri? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just helping Kate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stephen. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Hooray! 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 Woo! Hooray! It's already Australia. You heard it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a so we were trying to pay and they've given Stephen no, no. this for his birthday. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and one drink. All right, Steve. Is this Bolivian? But you have to Quick, Steve. Go go go, 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 go! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Whoa! Oh my God, your throat! That would be so good. Good morning everybody, welcome morning. to a very wet day here in La Paz, in Bolivia. And he is a birthday boy today. Birthday boy in Bolivia. Birthday boy in Bolivia. <laughs> what are we doing? So first I'm going to take him out for breakfast at that a cute place good. I found near our hotel. That sounds good. For pancakes. Oh yeah, gotta have pancakes in your birthday. So the place is actually inside a, inside a hotel lobby. <laughs> Cheers to another year. You old man. Oh my gosh. 
What have we done? Look at your fruit on that. Oh. Guys, Bolivia is so cheap, by the way. These were five dollars. Five dollars for all of this. And for that. Back. This is definitely the cheapest South American country so far. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't judge us. Wait, you can't judge us because it's my birthday. We're literally walking back to the hotel from breakfast. We ran into some other people from our tour group and they said, do you guys want to go check out this really cool Mexican place? I'm like, it's birthday. We're just going to eat all day. This is it here. Oh, this is really cool. Wow. They've set it up like Day of the Dead. Man, this place has some cool vibes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're still in! Oh, no. <laughs> so we're looking at things to do while we're here in La Paz and we realize there's like a gondola service. And usually with gondolas, it's like a total tourist thing. But we figured out like a few years ago, they had an, like an issue with congestion with traffic. So they just built gondolas as public transport. So you can just go on these for like, the equivalent of like 80 cents. And there's like a beautiful view up here called El, El Alto, I believe it is. And it's just public transport. Like I've never been to a city where gondolas is public transport. And apparently they cut it down from like an hour down to like 10 minutes to get into the CBD for a lot of people. Which is kind of cool. Really unique for the city. Gracias. made it to the top to El Alto. That's crazy just to think that that was their public transport. <laughs> I mean, any other tourist thing, they would have easily charged you so much money. But this city is huge. It just stretches all the way from the left there, right across. This is like, do you reckon this is the biggest city we've been to? I, I think, think so. Lima. I don't know, I think this might have been bigger. Yeah, from, uh, perspective. Mm. The marketplaces are super interesting here, so it's all just along the streets and you can just go and get random things like I think we saw like sellotape, toilet paper and then just biscuits and then everyone just has their little stores. See this one's just selling like toothbrushes. Are you sure you needed some shoes, shoe shine? Don't mind the mess. <laughs> so we're actually going to meet up with the final person that's on our tour group. As we mentioned earlier today, some people have left us because you can do this tour in like two parts. There's a Peru highlight, which some people did, now they've moved on. Or you can do a Bolivia to Buenos Aires. So they're like two different tours. Or you can actually combine them together and do the South American highlights, which is what we're doing. So I think we lost five people and we're gaining one new person. So we're going to go meet up with her. I think she's from the UK. Guys, you're just gonna have to ignore these juicy lips. I don't know if it's because of the altitude or the sun. I have such chap lips, but we've come out to the local market. It's a Tuesday and everyone is out and about. It is so cool just walking around with the locals. And it's just crazy, like literally everyone here is a business owner and they are selling just everything and anything. You don't need to go to shopping malls. So walk down Main Street. I think we turned a corner just before and it was literally just Bunnings Warehouse spread across two blocks. <laughs> By the way, have you ever seen avocados the size of a hand before? They are so big here. See this building here? This is a jail. I'll explain why I'm showing you this in a second. Yeah, so that place we just saw was San Pedro Jail. And you guys might have heard of it if you've seen like a book called White Powder, but the lowdown is that place is like a mini city. If you want to buy like the best cocaine in South America, it comes from inside that jail. 
it's like a mini city so if you get put in jail which most people who get put inside they actually do it because of drug smuggling for example i got put in jail jess my family they all just come and live inside the jail there's like restaurants there's shops it's like a mini city inside of there super interesting i don't know how they make the cocaine in there you can actually do tours which is i think totally legal but you can go there at like 3 a.m in the morning pay someone off you can go see the factory where they make it all where the different jails are another interesting thing is you have to rent your cell so you can't just go in there and get like free food and accommodation you have to like pay so you have to work when you're inside that jail super fascinating check out the book white Cloud if you guys want more information on that i just can't get over how there's just like a cocaine factory inside that jail definitely the best public transport Guys, welcome to the Moon Valley. We've just come out, it was actually super easy. We just caught the yellow cable car, the green cable car, and just a taxi here. Less than five bucks to get out here. And it's just all these amazing clay formations. If you guys are from Perth or been to Western Australia, just think like the pinnacles, but so kind of next level. Okay, this is what it looks like on the moon. <laughs> uh, if you like really use your imagination, <laughs> like the cheese. <laughs> I want cheese. After all the cake and burgers yesterday, I think we should do the 45 minute walk. So because it's all clay, you guys could come here and see completely different formations to us. Well, oh, you can really see how big this place is. From this viewpoint, this goes on for ages. shipping containers they're like little shops and they have seating areas workstations it's very cool oh, this super interesting place it's like this I don't know this industrial warehouse and they've just put up all these like shipping containers and then their shops and it's a local food court everyone just comes out here <laughs> Everyone just comes out here and just eats this, walk around, it's communal. Um, I probably wouldn't eat the food here, if we get sick, but I mean, it's very cool to see all the locals here. Also, I haven't seen these since Bali 2007. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that little taste of Bolivia. We are pretty much starting today, and yesterday was just to get, like, just to meet up with everyone for the rest of the tour and then we're going to be exploring the rest of Bolivia so make sure you hit subscribe if you are new here and we have so much more fun stuff coming for you in this series see you guys tomorrow